stuff. I've got a magnetic, uh, magnet, uh, magnetic one that Steve uh, wants, uh, he just wants to take off the roof on and off. Nice spring evening, so I'm going to try some portable HF receiving using the UVK5 and this HF helper. Not only that, but also my L-match antenna coupler. As for the antenna, just a few metres of wire, maybe five or six metres, that I'll just throw up in the tree behind me. Hey Jack, I'm trying to remember, I was thinking about you the other day, and not, not that sort of thinking, um, but anyway, did you do the, I'm um, sure you used to be mobile all the time doing, um, oh, what's it called, something to do, photocopying or something along them lines? Yeah, I was going to say, was it photocopies or something along them lines? Telephone, mate, till you're not off the grid. VK2FR with VK2CR. Yeah, I'll be around tomorrow. I'll, I've got a short day tomorrow. I'll finish work at uh, midday, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll anticipate to be on the band at this time. All right, mate, 73, thanks. M0ZNK, uh, VK2 Fox Radio 73. Here I'm on 15 metres, and as you just heard, signals were quite clear from a VK2. You can hear a peak for the front end bandpass filter. And I haven't yet peaked it up on here. Um, Okay, this is pretty close to the peak. I'm located about 200 kilometres north of the city of Sydney. Uh, Oscar Echo 3, Delta Alpha Sierra, VK2 Fox Radio, over. Uh, Oscar Mike 5, Delta X-Ray, g'day Parvel, uh, good signal, uh, 5 and 5, 55, over. So that's my quick check of the UVK5 from Kuangsheng with the HF helper. 
I had more in previous videos on building this unit. Basically a bandpass filter with an attenuator that helped with receiving HF for receivers like this with very broad front ends. Its performance drops quite a lot below about 17 megahertz. I couldn't hear signals on 15 megahertz. I could just hear signals on 17, 18 megahertz. And I could comfortably hear signals on 21, 27 and 28 megahertz. The antenna matcher probably helped a little bit if I had a wire a bit longer, maybe a bit more vertical, that could have helped as well. So it won't replace a dedicated receiver, but for some casual listening, if conditions are good, then something like this is quite worthwhile to take out portable. Do you want to get the most from your portable QRP operating? Good antennas is a great place to start. Find out how I succeed with my two books, hand-carried QRP antennas and more hand-carried QRP antennas. The big sellers with favourable reviews from all around the world. To learn more, visit vk3ye.com or search the titles on Amazon.